I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to take a look at our 2023 271BH Delaterra by East to West. This is a corner bunk model, um, very popular floor plan. Everybody makes one of these. I'm going to try to point out some things on this that make it different. Uh, one of which from the beginning you can see it has two entry points. We'll see how it interacts with the floor plan inside in just a second. But 271BH, that is the exact name of this floor plan. And then our specs, which I'll give you, um, are going to be right here. 7,081 pound dry weight, or 7,018, excuse me. And then our overall length from tip to tip is 34 feet, four inches. So I'll try to give that because we all know model numbers uh, can be a little deceiving. So um, mid-size travel trailer here, a uh, single slide unit with corner bunks at the back. So I'm going to just pan real quick and you can see this. And then we'll just start at the front and work our way back. All right. So starting at the front, one thing to point out, they actually use a door here. Um, a lot of variations there. Some use a curtain, some use a sliding door, but they do an actual passage door. King bed in here. Um, storage above, storage to the sides. They finish it out. What I mean by that is there's cabinet doors on that. It's not just an open air storage area. Hanging storage. Um, they put on both sides LED, uh, USBs and 110 outlets. Great job finishing out underneath here. Um, that's fully finished out. It looks neat and clean. They put hydraulic struts there to help make that easy to get up and down. And there's space on both sides of the bed and space at the foot of the bed. So it's easy to get in and out of this. Uh, windows on both sides. These are large windows as well. This is an exit window. The other window is a standard sliding window. Um, blackout cloth shades on these uh, versus just like metal window blinds or something of that nature. Roof vent in here just for additional ventilation and lighting. AC drop, two LED lights on the ceiling, two LED lights there underneath the nook. And then a TV mount on this wall here. So... A uh, well-equipped bedroom for this size unit. The overhead lights are on a switch instead of having to individually turn them on. A big, big slide, as you can see. Um, this is a flush floor slide. There is no step up uh, in this style. It's a rack and pinion slide. Uh, woven vinyl flooring, no carpet in this unit. Uh, notice, really big windows. Um, they did a great job with that. Lots of natural light coming into this. Again, the black uh, night shades on that. I'm going to look at the, the entertainment center and living room for just a second. Um, this is a pretty long couch. It's a standard jackknife, but it's a longer jackknife than what we often see. They did a good job making it where you can access this area below for storage. Uh, a little simple fold-down door here. Uh, these come out, you know, if you don't want them in the way for making the bed, as far as the bed is concerned, but it does fold down into a jackknife sofa. Really nice amount of storage around the entertainment center. So you've got the TV, storage above, storage below, um, little countertop there for you know gaming systems rokus whatever apple tv whatever you've got and then a fireplace as well down there really nice as a chill chaser um if it's not necessary to run the furnace and then this is our kitchen area so big l-shaped kitchen counter uh huge sink overall uh spray out a pull out sprayer faucet big window there stove top with glass top stove cover and an oven sparker runs both it's a triple burner instead of a double and then there's all sorts of storage down here below the sink and then drawers there as well. 10.7 uh, cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Essentially everything is going to that now. We like those versus the old gas electrics. So a really nice size refrigerator. And then one of the things they do that differentiates themselves, they do a great job with their pantry. Uh, that's an actual full size passage door as you can see and a really, really nice pantry. So honestly, when you're getting into these, a floor plan that's made by everybody, um, it starts to become uh, you're splitting splitting hair so to speak so you have to look at some of these small differentiations that's really really nice that is a great great pantry again i point out the fact there's a door because that lets you know just how large uh, in reference to the other doors throughout just how large that is across from that's our booth uh storage below the booth is accessible via the cabinet uh, cabinet doors there it's a good size booth it booth it's pretty deep as you can tell because it comes out past that uh slide face that gives you an idea of that again that's a full three foot deep slide that's a really nice slide this is what East to West puts in here. I usually show this because people like to pause and read on their own because um, I don't, I can't remember everything in this video, but you can see some of the things here they point out they have if I don't point them out myself. And then at the backs are corner bunks. So these are wide bunks. Both bunks have USBs, 110 outlets, and an individual light, which is nice. They also each have a window. A lot of times I see a company cut out one of those windows for cost. I like the windows, otherwise it kind of feels like you're in a cave. They have a built-in ladder right here, which is really neat. Again, it's another way they can cut cost. A curtain, close it off if you want. 
Oh, and the air conditioner, I forgot to point that out. It's in the middle. I know I'm backtracking, but AC is right here. I saw the AC drop and wanted to point that out. So AC uh, right there. Another roof vent in, in the ceiling too, which I like for ventilation and just for opening the unit up. To the left is your bathroom. Another thing I like, they have a passage door, or an in entry door, excuse me, that goes right to the outside. So if you're outside, uh, somebody needs to go to the bathroom, somebody's dirty or whatever, they can come right into the bathroom instead of walking through the whole unit. Corner sink, storage below that. A medicine cabinet with actual storage built into it as well. Outlet, uh, overhead lights again are on a switch, which I appreciate. Nice shower. Um, they do a soft shower door just for space conservation. Uh, so you got a soft shower door there, full plastic surround. That's a pretty nice shower. Um, again, we're in a, we're in a 34 foot travel trailer. We're not in a 42 foot five slide fifth wheel. So that's pretty nice. Um, big skylight, they did a great job with that. And then a roof vent here again. I like the roof vents and skylights just because it keeps these from feeling like a closet. Uh, and then a foot flush toilet right there. All right, that's the inside of the unit. And we'll show you the control panel. I'll always try to point that out as we walk out. Control panel right here. Slide awning controls, monitor panel and several of the light controls are right there. Sorry for the jump in the video. I accidentally hit the record button, so I had to uh, merge two videos together. So if you're watching this, you're probably gonna notice that. But let's go back outside, take a look at some things there. So on the exterior, um, four rides, step above steps, the quick, quick adjust feet, which I love, versus the um, other brand that has a pin in it, which I do not like. Uh, big grab handle here. They put a mini outside kitchen. So you've still got a refrigerator and a grill cooktop to pull out. It's just a nice use of space. Um, keeps you from having to take out a bunk or something at the other side for that. So that's a nice outside kitchen. Uh, you've got tinted windows on this, outside speakers, outside TV hookup, big electric awning. And with no slide on this side, you've got a nice um, space to use that. They do Goodyear Endurance tires. That's important to point out versus um, the foreign made tire. That's an American made tire. Enclosed underbelly as well. Again, the second entry at the back, which is really nice. Uh, they put alumi aluminum tread steps on this, not not the bigger steps, because they know you're not gonna be using this as much, but you've still got uh, nice steps there. Uh, bumper at the back with storage. You've got your spare tire mount on the back. Uh, four electric stab, uh, no, my goodness, four manual stab jacks. Um, use your electric, that's what I'm trying to say, use your electric drill, and they're just as quick, if not quicker than the electrics. A uh, dual gas electric water heater back here. Black tank flush. This is storage below the bunk so a nice storage area there you've got termination point back here with your black tank and both your gray tanks so that's nice and neat right there at one point rack and pinion slide man that's nice easy to work on easy to troubleshoot um you can crank it out manually if need be so a lot better than in my opinion than a cable slide or an electric motor slide big windows like we pointed out inside with tent on those Fresh tank fill right here. And then one of the things I like about Delaterra, they do a great job finishing out um, their outside compartment. Let me put this here. They do a really good job here. This is fully finished out. Um, look how neat this is with there's no raw wood showing, motion sensor lights on the wall. They even hung up the manual crank jacks over there. That's, that's just really neat. They put a docking center here, more like a fifth wheel. You got a spray, spray port with a quick disconnect hose, a little entry point. For your hoses battery disconnect this has solar on it with a solar controller already on it city water connection there's an outlet out here and tv hookups that's just a really really neat well done area um, and everything's just contained in there it's not sticking out the side of the unit so i like that uh, a little bit of diamond plate on the bottom as a rock guard you've got your two lp bottles up here and your electric tongue jack and a work light as well on the front so 2023 271 bh delaterra by east to west um, click the link in the description. That will take you to our website. There'll be pictures there. There'll be tech specs, um, our contact information. Um, our family would love to help you or answer any questions. You can call or text us at 270-247-8187, or you can uh, access us through our website as well. So thank you for watching. Again, I'm Colin Arrowhead Camper Sales. Have a great day.